Well, we made it back from uh, Illinois. Got the ripper mounted to the tractor. And uh, I've got new coulters ordered. Wasn't able to use the quick hitch, wasn't wide enough. But the issues we're having is uh, the tractor arms don't want to go down far enough. So there's a potentiometer underneath the cab that's got to be replaced and uh, it's right underneath there hard for me to get to so uh, there's also a calibration that needs to be done to that and the tool is six hundred dollars aftermarket and uh, is like twelve hundred through case so as much as I hate dealerships, I'm going to buy the aftermarket tool and have it in case somebody else with Magnum needs it done. Same thing, because they're going to charge me at least $600 to calibrate it. So uh, Dad's going after header parts. I've got a radiator hose for the white truck in here. And we're going to try to shell some corn this afternoon if we can get everything back together. videos that uh, was going to put everything else in the bin and wasn't going to use this for the rest of the corn but uh, a neighbor over here he uh, didn't fill a contract and he liked a, a truckload and it's some pretty good money so uh, we're scratching each other's backs he's getting his contract filled and uh, we're selling some corn for a little higher than what what we can get for it right now. The way this field is shelling out, I don't know if it's any better than uh, any of the rest ones. The other rest ones. Uh, Dad thought it had some potential, but I'm going to say about 90 bushel an acre is the best I can guess. We got a clatter on the header we got to check out. the uh, dump trucks, the white one. 
I think I've got it solved, uh, not overheating. So we'll find out, I guess, in this video whether I've got it fixed or not. Well, I pulled back in, he stopped. Either something's wrong or he's on the phone. Here's your sunset shot. May end up being the thumbnail. We got the uh, stock cutters. We had to take two of them off and replace that bearing. And uh, we didn't get them timed up right. So that's that click, clicking sound in the header. We're going to go ahead and finish this tonight and uh, fix that in the morning. Well, it's done a little better than what I thought. got this in full still got some uh torn left so i'm gonna go try to get old red and bring it back and probably bring y'all back in the morning good morning we didn't quite fill this one up so uh i'm unloading it first because i gotta go to the store and get fuel for it so Doug's gonna get the white truck We've got moved over to this other field. A little bit of foulness out right in there. Uh, definitely some fall spraying here pretty soon. But this last field, we, uh, we second to last field, excuse me. Uh, we got 70 acres after this one. We don't like it, but a few rows, a few passes in this in this field, and then we're gonna move on over to our last farm. It's one of our bigger ones, and uh, probably another pass or two. He'll have this truck full. Doug's going with the, the white tandem, and it's not running hot. So maybe we've got that and fixed, and we'll probably catch you at the bend real quick and then over at the other farm. So we're extremely dry here. Um, hasn't been any rain probably six weeks. So I'm in middle southern Tennessee over around Mississippi River I've heard that the Mississippi is the driest it's ever been on record. So uh, the reports are that all the elevators in uh, West Tennessee is uh, shut down because they can't load barges. They're all still open here. I deliver to deliver beans to. Uh, Decatur, Alabama. That's where I was wanting to send my beans to next week. And it's on the Tennessee River. And of course they load off barges. 
So how long, I don't know, they'll be taking beans. But this year with the crappy corn crop, we got plenty of bin space. I'm just curious to see how this all plays out. I've got the header behind me and we're headed to the last 70 acres. And last couple of uh, times we've moved, we should have took the header off, but uh, dad's let's throw caution to the wind deal. They've been cutting beans over there just like we're done. So uh, this is probably our furthest field from home. So we took it off for it and won't have to put it back after we get done that field, we'll have to put it back on the combine. We'll just put it on here because we'll be done. Then on to soybeans. And we're not going to get this done today. But hopefully we can make a pretty good dent in it. Going to wait for him to cut out a spot to put that truck. And we'll go get the other truck. Hopefully no problem, be here the rest of the night and finish up Monday. Man, it's dusty. Well, the white truck is still running a little hot. Uh, he got off some roads. This was second to the last field we planted. And, uh, It's just look at it. There's all like that right there, it'd be 200 bushel corn. I'm afraid that case, that's not gonna be the case. It's awful big field, so we'll just have to find out what it looks like. So if you see this uh, bare green spot, pretty big uh, area there that is uh, one reason why I bought the ripper now I'll probably I don't know how much I'll get ripped this fall but uh, I might have to come and just hit spots but I'd like to get whole field that deer right down there is uh, not that low it's just not draining when we get a big rain it just uh, Water stands there and drowns everything out. Got a few fields like that and a few fields that's just uh, just compacted. So I thought I'd show this little area here and with the combine in the background. If you see the corn on the hood, I've got calf corn pretty bad from that last fill up. So we're going to make the trek back to the uh, bend and uh, hopefully Doug ain't running too hot and make it back pretty soon. Got to have a high horsepower tracker run this auger. For it seems. For those that don't know, a 466 combine engine's in there. Got that coming to see me. The one going away. Hey, boy. You came to see me, too.
fill that truck, so uh, I gotta get this truck. And there's your sunset. Well, old Red here wouldn't start, battery smoking, and mounted her up. So I'm gonna tell him not to dump on me. Well, the moon's out. He's gonna go ahead and unload on me tomorrow, Sunday. Uh, no significant chance of rain till Thursday, so we'll figure this out if it has to set. Um, it just melted the, the, the ground cable, the, not the post, but the thing goes around the post, post holder. So uh, I think we're gonna load this truck. I don't know if we're gonna try to load Doug, but unless something else happens, uh, this is it. Oh, I almost forgot. I did find out what happened to the corn spill out here. He claims that uh, when he goes to let the auger out that the button magically mashed itself that runs the auger. So that's what happened there. It's magic. Well, I may have done show this, but uh, the moon is pretty and full tonight. And I just got off phone with one of my mechanics that helps us out. He said, uh, could be starter, could be battery cable. So I'm just gonna put a new battery cable on it. Please get it home. And uh, Doug should be getting back, but he's gonna keep putting on that. And uh, I've got to walk out here to the truck. So, uh, thanks for watching. God bless you. Yes, I got a hoodie on. Done got cold. Leave me a comment and we'll catch you on the next one. And uh, hopefully the next one we'll finish corn. And uh, I ain't threw up a drone in a while. So may do some drone footage and may just finish corn and start soybeans in the same video. Anywho, catch you on the next one.